Hi everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Build All Team. In this video, you will learn how to create a new post on an existing blog. Now, in previous videos, I've walked through and how to set up a blog by going into Blog MVP and going through all of the different settings. Then I showed you how to also go in and connect your blog to an existing website. Then we've broken down previous videos to go in and configure your blog feed page as well as configure your blog post page. Now that the blog has been created and you want to go in and create a brand new post, all you have to do is go over to the left here and select Blog MVP. So here again is my listing of blogs. Now you have to remember which blog you have connected to your website. And this is the one we actually have connected. So let's go into Edit Blog. Next, what you want to do is simply go over here and then go down to Post. Okay, so now these are all of the different posts that have already been created for your blog. Now to create a new post, all you have to do is go up to the top right and select New Post. Now here, you have a blank canvas. You can utilize the different tools up at the very top to start creating your post. Or if you want to pull one from a pre-made template, all you have to do is go over here, go to Select Template, select the category, and then your template will now display and all you have to do is go in and make the adjustments. After you've completed all of your adjustments, you can go up here and change the title. You can go here, change the thumbnail, categories from the drop down. Let's go ahead and select workouts, authors from these author drop down. Let's go ahead and select Jane and then your time cycle. Now your time cycle again there are three options. There's instantaneous, there's dripping, and there's scheduled. Now your instantaneous post will post right after you select save unless you have selected draft. Next you have the option to choose scheduled where you can go in and select a date from the calendar by clicking in this area here and then selecting your date and then going in to select your time. Next, you can also go in and choose dripping. Now dripping is set to post each time your site visitor returns. So for example, if I created this posting here and on the second day my site visitor returns, that is when this post will be displayed. Now let's go down here and go to custom URL. Custom URL is the location of where this post will be located. So for example, take your domain.com backslash workout dash three. And down here is the template that we first started with. So let's go up to the very top and we're going to select save. And now we're going to go to the post list. Now this is the post that we just created. Now remember, we went in and set this to dripping. So below the posts, we have the dripping timeline. Now what this is going to do is give you a snapshot of all of your dripping posts and when they will become available to your site visitor. So for example, this first one will be available one day, zero hours, zero minutes after the first access and so on and so forth. And that is how you go in and create a new post. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frankie Menez with the Build Raw team.